I got any boogers? You do got boogers. Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Stand Upish. Uh, welcome back. Thank you for coming to the show. Uh, as you know, we do what we do. You know how we do what we do. We're going to get started just as quickly as we can. Here we go. And when the people start gathering and start commenting, I, Mr. Producer, will bring those up for you. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> up first. <laughs> Up first in our little production, John Novasad and John's Jokes. John's Jokes. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. This episode of John's Jokes, I've just decided to start doing a warning or a disclaimer at the start of each one. There will be some <laughs> sexually explicit clip art in... Uh, in this presentation at some point so eugene do you hear that the... damn it yes shut up okay, okay. shut up shut, that's shut all right up. i'm that's just saying up. so do I the talk people to... i talked to my Wait, lawyers i gotta put my headphones on he's go got us echoing all Wait, crazy go, go. i'm good now. oh i thought you were talking about did you hear that john was gonna have sexually explicit clip art like <laughs> oh no, no we <laughs> Like that shouldn't be a surprise. I'm just telling people. No, you, know? you ain't you ain't surprising nobody. You ain't no, surprising no. nobody. But that's cool. And then I like it that way. I search for a beard, not a beard like you know what I mean, an actual beard, not a someone who's covering for a gay person. <laughs> and in clip art and, <laughs> what? <laughs> and that came up. That came up. And I didn't have to change the hair. I mean, I have to change the color of. I wish it was longer, but that could maybe be me. So that could maybe be you. Maybe, yeah. I mean, it's not a perfect match, but I bought this fucking CD-ROM probably like I don't know, two thousand or something. What's up, Kenneth? How are hey, you? Hey, Kenneth. Good to see you, buddy. Right nice on, right to on. see you. T Sup was my nickname in high school. I don't know if you guys knew that. But... <laughs> Fucking hey, T Sup. Hey, T Sup. <laughs> so we're on daylight savings time now, and I do like that better, but that gives me the opportunity to tell this joke about daylight saving time. And you, hey, Krista, hi. Ooh, I've uh, been blocked from the comments. Damn you it. Have? What? I don't see no comments. Oh, I'm watching oh. us on YouTube, and I don't see nothing. Get out of here. Mm. I see oh, yeah. them. I see them. I know. I see this. Huh. Uh. Well, that is a weird turn of events, isn't it? Oh, I've been demoted. You've been demonetized. Yeah. What is that? God damn it. Demoderatorized. De de Demoderator. Yeah. Demoderator. <laughs> this is bullshit. So it'll come back. It'll come back. <clears throat> um, so daylight savings time. And it, yes. you know what? It's called daylight saving time. It's not savings time. That's the way I understand it. I did not but know that. I've been saying savings times my entire life. I think it's daylight saving time, but I could be wrong. I, I might be wrong. Somebody yeah, it could makes look more that sense up. your way. It makes more sense, like you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that just gives me, I've probably told this joke on here before. It's out of my act. But I like daylight savings time better. But you know when we go from stand, daylight to standard, like we lost an hour this weekend, you go the other way, they say you gain an hour. And that's not true. But I came up with a plan where you really do <laughs> gain an hour. It's called daylight driving time. Here's how it works. You drive 95 miles an hour in a 65 mile an hour zone for 205 miles. And you have picked up a fucking hour, you know? <laughs> that's how I got so, back from Wyoming. You have literally yeah, got an hour. I understand. As fast I understand. as possible. And that, that math works, too. I'm pretty sure I double checked it. Because you would pick up an hour's time if you drove 95 miles an hour for 205 miles in a 65 mile an hour zone. Yeah, that would make so, sense. There's that daylight savings time joke. It's good for a couple times a year. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time in my act. I just set it up differently. Let's see oh. what's next now. I think we have some bad clip art coming up. Do I we, went clip me... art heavy this one. Oh, wait. Let me get my. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. Next. Yeah, so now it's time for bad clip art. Look at that, man. What do you, you know, someone said, hey, hi, Sir June. Hi, Sir June. What do you search in the CD? his brains out. <laughs> oh, that's, that's would have been the better, that would have been the better caption for it. Uh, but I say, 
I did a joke with this where I said, you know, because that CD-ROM has a search engine or search box. What would you search to get that? Cigarettes in every orifice. Yes. <laughs> uh, You'd get, but yeah, smoking is brain. Taking cigarettes out the ass. Yeah, no like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but see that um, it'll just say no, nothing found. You can't get super dirty or yeah. Really, do you still have yeah. no um, no comments, Rick? <clears throat> I have no comments, and I can't comment. Okay. Jesus. You should, you should highlight the address up the top and just click on enter so it reloads the, the page for you. Okay, continue. Yeah. Sorry. I was working behind the scenes to take away, strip away his moderator status. <laughs> You've done well, my friend. I, <laughs> I think I did it. I was like, I know people. I know people. Uh huh. Yeah, nah, man. Nothing. It doesn't. It's still okay. nothing. It's just all blink. I can't even He's, comment. It's weird. It's weird, man. You that is really me. weird. Oh, boom! Guess who's back? Uh, oh, Eugene blocked me for a while. That's all. No, he let uh, me back in. Good uh, looking <laughs> out, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Damn Where it! Is my thing love? didn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he's attacking a walnut. <laughs> yeah and this is the continuing in bad clip art i mean look uh -huh. at this this guy is a chef that's a walnut and he's hitting it he has his chef hat in his hand for one right. i mean why the hell is he so angry about the because he couldn't open it i would i, I would know. guess yes there's a problem with the nut and you're never gonna <laughs> you're never gonna open a walnut with a with a wooden yeah. spoon it's just never gonna well happen. that's what the next thing i was gonna say is mm -hmm. why does he have a wooden spoon yeah exactly but speaking of problem with a nut i had a well, hold up what if he was playing that game where you gotta hold the walnut and you gotta run across you know and you gotta beat the other people and he fucking dropped and now he's all pissed off and oh he's like, Fuck yeah this walnut oh so it's like an egg but it's a walnut instead yeah see that's that's wait, a good thing wait a minute there's a game where you put a walnut in a spoon. Some and people use what, eggs. What happens eggs. If, the, if the walnut falls? You just pick the walnut you're, up, right? <laughs> you're disqualified, I guess. What happens if the egg oh, yeah. falls? It don't always crack. That's true. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Good point. Okay, but they cool. do it with an egg. But that, I think, is the best uh, good. interpretation. Don't be making my made-up stories with flaws. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, man. I like it. All I right. Like it. Let's see what's next. Oh, look at this. This is a dumb one. Who would steal the whole, whole fucking mailbox? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, wouldn't you just take the mail? And is there a lock on that were... box? I don't think so, but but maybe he, if he, he knows what's inside. Mailbox. If he knows what's yeah. inside, and there's a lock on that box, you gotta take the box and go. Yeah. But then I... also, what does the yellow flag mean? You know? I believe this a is a metaphor flag. for email, in which case you would have to take the entire box. Whoa. Wow. That's pretty that heavy in the yellow. Thank you. Thank you. Because I thought the yellow flag meant it's safe to pee here. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> but I like your <laughs> your interpretation better. I thought maybe it was a guy who really needed a mailbox who was poor. Then look at this. What the seal? Drunk, th th Them are fish. 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 The fish. <laughs> They're drinking martinis, you know. I mean, fuck, why not? Dude. Yeah, but would do you think a fish would really drink a martini? I thought I thought about this. You don't think they're classy enough? I, no, it's not that. Is that more for a dolphin? Would drink some... <laughs> <laughs> well, sure, I could see a dolphin drinking a martini. Yeah. But the reason I think a fish wouldn't drink a martini is they would want something with water in it, like scotch and water. You know what I mean? Why you oh, wouldn't drink I'm... water? Have you been in oxygen bar? I ain't trying to go in no oxygen bar. I got oxygen all the time. Just go, <sighs> boom, oh, I taste that's... fresh. Right. Well, I'm going to buy me some oxygen. Your logic is killing me tonight, man. <laughs> I, you got the... I'm just answering questions that are being asked. <laughs> you, got, you got me again, man. The walnut in the spoon thing. Why the fuck would a fish want to drink water? They're in water all the time. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> drinking like a fish. You got yeah. it. Oh, there it there is. It is. Oh, God, you guys, you should be doing that. You should be doing that. Okay, I just put a caption to this. And say, this document proves he's an asshole. It just <laughs> made me laugh. What did he do to you? I don't <laughs> know. You know I don't guy? know. <laughs> 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 
poor son of a bitch. Yeah, it's fun to just make make him say weird things like this that. This is this is his printout from that w- website where you can pretend, you know, that you're on a trip but you're actually cheating on your wife. Oh, wait, what's that? What, what is that? Oh, so <laughs> what is that website? What are we called? doing now? <laughs> There's, I don't know what it's there's, called. There's a website where you can log in and all your stuff will look like just regular business expenses, no matter what you're buying, from wherever you want. Does Maria watch the show? I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't please. <laughs> Maria's got all the money. How there's do no, you know this, no, man? <laughs> Mar, Mar, Maria has all the money. There's no, there's no me getting that. <laughs> so what are you saying? That those two are a couple? I'm and saying, the woman in brown is the couple of assholes. I'm saying that the woman in the woman in pink is divorcing the dude. She has a okay. printout from his website that proves he's an asshole. Oh wow! <laughs> and the woman in brown is happy to hear that. I guess she's kind of smiling, like looking at him, like you're fucked, buddy. She's the lawyer, and now she knows right. her retainer's going to be paid, and she's going to be in, yeah. in litigation. Right. I These are oh, my thoughts. Man. So That's pretty go. good. And he's Thank sporting you. the old turquoise turtleneck. That's a <laughs> bold know. move. The, the, oh, now it's time for okay, some boner, okay. uh-huh. boner clip art, you know. Rock and it's roll now. It's Monday night. That guy, mm-hmm. <laughs> that guy, I decided to make this guy really... He doesn't have the girth, but boy, he's got the length, but... It's yeah. funny because I just thought, you know, <laughs> when he like when he runs, he runs hard. I wonder is if is that if, a pull cue in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? <laughs> what me. is actually preferred? Is it girth or is it length? I know you want a big old fat one, or you want a long one. <laughs> I think it's got to be a combination of the two, man. I mean, <laughs> you can overdo girth, both of those, right? Yeah, you gotta yeah. have a good well, balance girth, there. Good sure. balance. <laughs> Short and girth is not good, man. No, no, no. Just okay. Just gaping and okay, cool. I can understand. Gaping. That. He uh, said gaping. I, uh, Gee, <laughs> man, that's that's not part of my PowerPoint wow. presentation, everyone. Wow. Oh look at this one. Came up with this one. Row, row, row your boner. Uh-huh. That guy okay. working out with the boner. Should have been row, row, row your bone. Uh huh. Oh, Gently fuck, down the man. stream. God, dude, yeah. dude, it was right. It was right there, dude. I know. I'm, I like, dude. It's like I do it. It's like ninety percent there, but I missed the most crucial ten percent. Oh, right God. as I read it, I was like, "Oh no, er, just row, row, yeah. row." You know, one letter. <laughs> I oh, thought that's, that's why. I thought that's where John was going. I thought John said, was going to say he made it extra large because of that fact there, uh, Sarah. Because <laughs> um, it doesn't happen in nature. So, anyway. Yeah. Continue. Anyways. <laughs> She's talking about the green runner guy. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. But I can't believe I missed row, row, row your bone and put bone. There. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. Oh, see, now I made this one. That talking about girth, like that guy has some girth on his penis, but it's short. Got a hell of a clit there. Oh, that's a penis. <laughs> Little big man is what I call him. <laughs> that was like a large I, clit. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. And then that, this. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. A lot, <laughs> You're man. stupid. He's, that's gotta hurt a lot. So God. dumb. Oh, so God. dumb. God. Now we're going into sex. You know, you oh, know, now we've just night. been working on boners. <laughs> yeah, I've just been working on boners. But now, but see, I this is one of the skills mm-hmm. that I have on the there's limited stuff I can do with the clip art, but what I can do is pick one of these images and totally make it a silhouette. You know, is this so what you it's... do, um, John? Like, um, when I, if someone comes to your show, when you <laughs> do the, do the uh, current topics, are, are they that? Well, it's funny you mention that because last week uh, I had the silhouette sex. I don't know if you guys remember it, but it was a woman bent over like that, but a guy was coming in with his hand really right. tight. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I used that one for sex in the show. <laughs> and it was funny because the crowd, I mean, I don't think they were offended, but I heard a couple of people go, whoa, you know. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't actual penetration, but it was sure looking that way. It was looking. All right, cool. 
Yeah, the green outfit guy. Yep. Yeah. So I can make any figure silhouette. So <laughs> that Dilbert's getting know. him some pussy. Uh huh. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Mm hmm. Gil Gilbert, that's another home run, man. That's, that's so nice. funny. I like that one, Gilbert. Yeah, uh -huh. I had to add a little bit to it. Uh, oh, Jesus. And then this one I just call closer. <laughs> that's the just guy the in the tip. green suit. <laughs> yeah, just the tip. That's oh, the guy in that's the green suit. That's all she can suit. take. Fuck, she takes that. It's going to poke through her butthole. <laughs> yeah. I agree, Sarah. I agree. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So. Oh, wow. That's Look at there. John's jokes. So thanks, everybody. It's hard to believe. I don't have a sponsor, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> you yeah, nobody think, wants to jump on board. <laughs> yeah, Completely. you would think people would be lining up. I have no sponsor. idea mm. how you how there is no sponsor <laughs> right now, John. All right, cool. At least like a lube company or something. I don't know. John's jokes. Oh, thank you. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thank that you. That was a heck of a way to kick off the show. Yeah, it is. Next up uh, is Rick. And wait, let me make sure I got this on the start. And yes, there we go. And let's don't be dumb. All right, we switched it up. Okay, it's me. <laughs> what? I was second? Oh. Was I, was I going to be yeah. second? Oh, Hold shit. On, I yeah, didn't you, up the article. No, no, no. I'm going to be second. Stop. All right. This See? is just the preview. I preview. can quit. Hey, hey. <laughs> just like that. I can fix that. Uh. Thank you. Jesus, who the fuck am I? Uh, sorry. All right, hello. Yeah, but same thing <laughs> happened at the live show with me and John. They had really? me featured for John, and then they called me up the second one up. I was like, what the fuck's oh, going yeah. on? And Alan's yeah. like, you know, man, it's the same. You misread it. I pulled up my uh -huh. phone, and I said, nah, man, you uh, typed that out that way. Yeah, that was not. That's all right. <laughs> that kind of day? Kind hello. of week for me. Today, I'd like to talk to you about uh, <laughs> <laughs> good news, bad news. Let's yeah. go yeah. that way. Thank you very much. All right, cool. Uh, first up. Uh, you guys know uh, Jake Paul? Yep. Okay. Uh, one of the Paul brothers. And I guess uh, Jake Paul is a, a, if you don't know who he is, he's a, a really talented as far as like, you know, uh, M M M A wrestler. Uh, uh, he's really. He's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But people on, on, on YouTube hate him. And I guess over the last couple, three years, um, he has uh, made a living beating up boomers. So um, exactly, he's beating up grandparents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you'd hate him too if you were to fight your grandpa. Yeah, I, 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 you know what? I'd like to volunteer some boomers, but I don't think I'd do it myself. But I'm like, this is so. If you look at this photograph right there, that looks like him because that's that's Jake. He is actually that's Jake there. Uh, this is Mike Whoa. Tyson. 20 years ago. Did you see my hand disappear? Like, yeah, that mm -hmm. was crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> like voodoo. You yes. inserted yourself into Jake. Yes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Mike Tyson uh, 20 years ago. Okay. And 20 years ago, Mike Tyson did not have this tattoo that they photoshopped on him because they don't want you to think about the fact that let me get my mouse back over here and this is the actual fight that yeah. <laughs> is mike tyson today and that right there is a madman is gonna you know beat him up but i don't know guys what do you think no. do you think that mike no. tyson has a shot in hell at beating this guy he's going to beat the fuck out of that youtuber because that child has nothing no no negative shit in his life he's a spoiled white privileged little bastard who's had the opportunity to train right and he's trained his ass off he right. can't hold oh, yeah. himself in the ring and he's on Mike the Tyson's too. a bad motherfucker that learned yeah, how to fight they had to control the beast and put him in the ring Jake Paul man there's actually I shared it on TikTok a TikTok video going around of Jake Paul when he was younger and he's like doing like some Britney Spears dance or something shit. <laughs> and you're like, you never see Mike Tyson doing no fucking shit like this ever in his life. Like it's no man. Mike's bad, man. He's got something inside of him that Jake ain't doesn't know shit about. Do you think that this is a real fight? Do you think that there is a possibility that Jake will lose this fight only because 
Um, Jake's brother fought, um, was it Evander Holyfield? No. Jake's brother fought, um, who's the guy? Money Man? Is it Roy Wood? No, the money guy, the guy that walks around with all the money. Okay. Um, uh, I can't. I can't think of his name right now, but his bro- he, his brother fought this guy. It wasn't Roy Jones. His might the have Burrow been Duran. No, I'll get, it, it'll come to me. But his brother got a lucky, not a lucky shot, but got a shot in on this guy, and you could physically see this guy go out. Okay, and the only reason he did not lose the fight is because at that time he got wrapped up by the the professional boxer, and you know. They held him until he got his bearings back. But, I, you know, that that's not something that happens in a normal fight. Um, so I don't really know if this guy has a chance of losing this fight at all, to be quite honest with you. Well, I have two questions. One mm-hmm. question is, can you bet Mayweather. on the sportsbook? Money Man Mayweather. Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can you bet on the sports yeah, books on this fight? You know, that's a yeah, good but question. you were also able to. Okay, so when I said Roy Jones Jr., that was who Mike Tyson fought last time. Yes. Yeah, you can bet on this bullshit, but that fucking Roy Jones Jr. fight was bullshit too. Those motherfuckers didn't go at it; <laughs> they didn't fight hard, and uh, it was end up being, being, being a tie or some shit, right? So like everybody lost. Like Mike Tyson definitely threw more down and whatever. He won the fight, but they called it a tie. Everybody fucking lost their money. So well, it's that type of shit. I think that um, you know, the only people yeah, I'll put a tie are- on these two. The only two that are guaranteed not to lose, if it is possible to bet on them, are these two guys. I mean, it's going to be on Netflix. It's going to be, you know, $24 million up front. Oh, of course. Yeah, you know, they're making boo It's, it's though. bank. It is bank. Yeah, all day. Here's my next question. How old is this other guy, Paul Jr., whatever the fuck his name is? What's his name? Mid, mid to late 20s. 30, what is it? Mid to late 20s. Yeah, I think he might be 30, 30s, yeah. Like okay. Yeah. And Tyson's 57. <laughs> 57, I, I don't know. I'm not, I, you know, let's just. I'm just saying, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that that other guy could win. I agree with Rick. I think I think Mike Tyson will beat the shit out of the guy, but that's a lot. That's a big gauge difference, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see I mean, honestly, man, nah, it's like you coming at your grandpa who does know <laughs> how to fucking throw down. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck you, grandpa. Like, come here, you little motherfucker. Like, you don't even know what I'm about. I've been beating people's ass way before you even thought about being nutted. You know what I'm saying? Don't even fuck with me. He'll kill um, him. He's going to kill um, him. So um, Paul's 27, Mike's 20, 30, 57. That's a 30-year difference. I am, That's just beating your kid. I am, That's just beating your kid. I am legist. I am actually thinking about right now myself in a serious fight with my 30 year old son, I right. do but you not ain't been have kicking ass for the last 30 years. Yet. Yeah, but you ain't been fighting. Okay. If you've been fighting this whole time, now look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. That motherfucker's in his 80s. I bet his great grandkids ain't trying to fuck with him. That's true. Yeah. Well, listen, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's still going out. Jackie Chan to kick some ass That's still, man. I can give you that. I'll if you, you want to train a little bit, you know, to get ready to fight your 30 year old. Dude, good I'll luck to you. you. Well, oh, I'll tell geez. you what. If y'all want to, if y'all want to do a little something, I'll take on either one of y'all. Y'all want something? Oh <laughs> well, yeah. See now well. I'm gonna come out like Jake Paul and I'm about to beat up some grandpa. I ain't gonna that's look what good. I'm saying. See, that's, that's ex- that would be my that would be my post fight that that would be my post fight interview. Oh yeah, beat up the old guy. Big fucking way to go, Rick. <laughs> that, that, that I'm like, yeah, kid. I fucked him up. Yeah, woo. <laughs> I would get the big sympathy vote, you know. Yeah. I actually have a joke. If you want to fight me, you're pretty desperate for a win. Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> hey, man, we all got our bars, you know what I'm saying? Some are old. <laughs> all right. All right. All right, cool. So, all right, all right, I thought that would get some all right, conversation. Let's see what's up next. Oh, okay, here's the thing. Uh, the the uh, words, it's, uh, let's see. Jake Paul rose to combat sports fame. Um, when he not, okay, knocked out former NBA uh, player Nate, right, Nate Robinson. Robinson yeah. Right, you know, so he's made, a, he's made a good living of knocking out old guys that ain't really, but. You might be right. Maybe maybe Mike Tyson has some muscle memory Tyson's that would just made, kill him. He's made of something different. He's made of something different. If I was if I was fighting a guy and I had an opportunity to make sure he didn't kill me, I'd do it. I'm just saying. If I if there was a way I could put the fix in. You don't so. think Mike might snap? 
No. He bit fucking Holyfield. You yeah, know what I'm saying? He might was, latch onto this kid's jugular. That was, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was 30 years ago. He was on the juice. He snapped you know, in. You and, know what I'm saying? He might snap and, again. You don't know. You can't keep poking the beast and don't accept this expected well, snap. He had that crazy ass trainer. You know, so you you know, you know, you know, it was it was a, that was that a different Mike Tyson. The bear. That was a different Mike if Tyson. That Jake Paul guy scored a couple of hits on him too. You know what yeah, I mean? He might, like, yeah. It, yeah. That might make him go, all right, you want this? Here we go. You know? <laughs> right, know. the dog. You can't fuck. You can when only kick the, the dog fight? a couple times before he bites you. Uh, you know, when is the fight? the fight is? I think it's, well, I don't, I, don't, I don't actually know exactly the date, but it's pretty soon. I think that he's getting paid not to be the dog. So that's that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens, though. But you can only pay the dog so much. The dog has that July 20th. In. Yeah. Tyson will face Paul and who wants to look like a punk? Now, now, now check it out. Yeah, Mike Tyson is probably be the guaranteed last fight. Who wants to look like a punk? Who wants your last fight to be like, oh man, I should no? He wants to come out looking like, yeah, boy, fuck all y'all. I don't give a shit how old you are, and then boom, king of the ring. I'm not really looking at it as a fight though. I'm looking as an exposition, exposition, exp- Ex- exhibition, exhibition. Yeah, I'm gonna put my money on a tie. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna put yeah. my money on a draw. Fuck yeah. that. We'll see what happens. We'll Fool me happens. once. <laughs> I, I am definitely interested. I am definitely interested. So we'll see. Uh, next oh, up. Look yeah. at Mr. Transition Thank there you. again, man. You know, this yeah. is cool. Uh, y'all I always need to, forget y'all, to do that. Y'all need to get on board with these. Here we go. Rupert Murdoch is engaged to get married again at 92 to a 67-year-old. Is that Robin the Cradle? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Nah, but it's don't be dumb. I mean, don't you want your money? <laughs> and don't also, you do you think the woman in that gone. picture is 67 years old? Yeah. That doesn't look like a 67-year-old woman to me. It does if you I look, yeah. factor in money and, and Botox. And, you know, 67 can look like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me bring that. John. Yeah, she don't look bad. I'll send you. I'll just send you an article, John. You know <laughs> Oh, no, hell no. no. Hey, I hey, just hey, hey, fellas. You ever been under that? I'm not. <clears throat> I just, I'm just saying. I'm uh, just saying. All but right. okay. Yeah. Let's so. No, I, I believe she's 67. Yeah. And I'm rethinking my whole thing here on Stand Up-ish. Those silhouettes were too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I'm missing that's, all the jokes. That's all right. <laughs> and I guess, I guess... <laughs> I guess he just, uh, according to this, I guess he just broke up with another person that he was engaged uh, to. So, um, you know, he's, I guess he's a serial engager. He's the, he's what he's, you, the marrying kind, I guess. <laughs> well, and he's spending some of that Fox money to get a younger woman. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame I, him. He's got the money. I mean, yeah, but I don't like the way he got the money. It's but. Rupert Murdoch. You know, he, he actually destroyed the world kind of. <laughs> yeah. And now he's, yeah. And now he's, yeah. I'm reporting on him. Okay. And and let, let me bring this over here to here. That's that. Now I have one more, but I have to bring it over this way because it is a video. Did you Ooh, see right. Did you see the uh, State of the Union? Anyone? I saw the highlights, but I didn't see it. Okay. Um, I saw no. the State I saw State of the Union, saw the rebuttal. And uh, State of the Union went like, you know, every State of the Union goes, you know. Um, I'm doing great. We are great. Vote for me again. You're going to be great. Everything's cool. And then there was the rebuttal and the rebuttal went off the rails. It, people are talking about it everywhere. Um, this is Katie Britt. Uh, uh, she is a congressperson from Alabama. Uh, let's have a look. See here. There she is. Um, okay. I did hear about this from Saturday Night Live, <laughs> but I didn't know what they were referencing to. So good. All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right. This is a she's a congressperson from Alabama, the youngest congressperson in Congress on the Republican side, 40 years old. Um, And she's going to do the rebuttal. And here's what they did. The Republican Party decided to put her in a kitchen to give the rebuttal to the (laughs) president of the United States, who was just on a podium with the third most powerful, second most powerful person in the world there. Third most powerful person in the world there. Here is our person. She's in the kitchen going to talk to you about recipes. I'm not sure what the hell that was about. Yep. Then, and then, you should see her delivery. This, it, I, 
I feel her. I feel for her because I have paid good money for bad acting classes. This was a disaster. Here she is. Oh, let hello. me say hello to Angela before we move on. Hello, Angela. What up, hello. Angela? <laughs> Good to see you. This was the disaster. I just cut out some highlights. Uh, let me get there. Here we go. Uh, bam. To think about what the American dream can do across just one generation in just one lifetime. It's truly breathtaking. <laughs> Did you edit that, I'm surprised Eugene? Saturday Night Live do that. <laughs> right now. Did you do that? Yeah. Command. <laughs> the free world deserves better than a dithering and diminished leader. <laughs> Look at your own guy, man. <laughs> Okay, was, now what I saw was Scarlett Johansson makes sense. Yeah, oh I was my like, God. I get it. It was so unhinged, and like when she when she, she she talk about a part that was supposed to be sad, she'd kind of she'd like try to cry. It was just it was horrible acting. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he decided to put her in the kitchen. My God, and that and then that was that was the thing. I mean, she's you know run campaign. She's beat guys. You know, and and she's now a sitting congressperson. You know, and they decide, yeah, you can give the um, you know speech because you know you're young. You would look really good. How can we relate to women? In the and the only <laughs> the only way the Republicans could think to relate to women is women love kitchens, right? Let's put women. Let's put them in the kitchen. We're trying to that put them exactly in the kitchen. Let's did. put her in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah. It's like it's like insane, but right on brand, perfectly on brand. Yeah. <laughs> pull up Sarah June's comment. Oh yeah, yeah. Before you pull this down, pull up Sarah June's comment. Let me see. <clears throat> That's where women belong. And, yeah. <laughs> that ain't right, Sarah. That ain't right. Sarah. There's our clip. <laughs> That's fine. Man. Hey, and Angela, no, that's not the woman who who got grilled. No, You're thinking of uh, Laura Bobert. What's her name? Lauren Bobert. Yeah, Bobert, yeah. No, this this was totally. This was another woman who. Yeah. Oh, uh, it it was like it was like horrible. It was like the worst acting you can imagine. Please, if you want to have a good chuckle, See, I thought go Scarlett the... Johansson was fucking up on SNL. Oh, she, <laughs> I know she Scar was getting this perfect. Scarlett perfect Johansson hit it right on the money. <laughs> hit it yeah, right yeah, on the yeah. money. They did a great job. They did a great job. I didn't job. realize that. <laughs> and it was so funny because as you watch it, as you watch it happen live, you know, every time something happens, they cut to their five guys or their three guys or whoever. And when she got through talking, they cut to three people. It's a three person shot. And all three people are like waiting for the other person to say something. They're like, all right, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> it was, oh, it was anyway. Hell it's man. hilarious. If you want to, if you want to have a good laugh, that's don't be dumb. <laughs> hey, Angela. All right, cool. That and that. Oh wait, and Angela what? said something that got hidden. What? Let's see. Uh -oh. it should pop up. <laughs> oh. She should grow. <laughs> Other. Wait. Damn it. All right, Angela took it, so that's why it got blocked. See. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. That and would be funny to end it that way. She starts kissing her husband. No really. lie. Uh, and, <laughs> to the action. And <laughs> also, they, it was just like she referenced her husband, Wesley, like five times. Like, how how many guy Congress people in their, in their big speech, you know, me and my wife, you know, it's, it's not you and your wife. You and your wife didn't run for Congress. You and Wesley didn't run for Congress. You... Yeah. Talk about it's you, you know, mm -hmm. but give a shit about what your wife got to say. Yeah, somebody else wrote that. Some guy, some guy. How can we relate to women? Is anyway, it's just it put, her well. put her in you the kitchen. Put her in. You know them broads like to be in the kitchen. They love cooking. <laughs> Don't they, they love have, cooking? Jesus. They should have had a timer go off at the end, and she's getting like buns out of the oven. <laughs> she's finishing up. 
<laughs> Gotta go. Dinner's ready now. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard being a working <laughs> mom. And, you know, I mean, to be quite honest with you, how, who has a table, a uh, 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 sit around the kitchen table conversation nowadays? Who has that? Like, I mean, the, we do a little talk, bit. Talking bills and, t- yeah. yeah. <clears throat> no, no, not like that. Yeah. My wife makes a great <laughs> Uh, look at sir. <laughs> Wesley Wesley should have came in with a plate empty and just said thank you honey and handed it to her. Yeah. And just walked away. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, the, tea, the tea kettle's yeah, going know. off, so I've gotta wrap this up. Yeah, I, I have cookies in the oven. We gotta go. Oh, yeah. it was nuts. It was nuts. All right. Biden is uh. incompetent. Trump is vibrant, you know. <laughs> Compared to fucking Biden, I guess is what she's yeah, saying. I like that. I want to see that again. Hold on. I want to see this girl. Yeah, <laughs> stupid. That's fucking, good. They did nail it. Saturday Night Live it's really fucking nailed about what it. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> that I saw this. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, that was perfect. In just one lifetime. It's truly breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> are That's so funny, Eugene. <laughs> That is so wild. It's like, right I don't know who did, who How thought that. Think? Okay, when you say truly here. breathtaking, take a breath. Inhale. <laughs> yeah. Take a moment. <laughs> Let it all sink Man, in. My heart rate, my heart rate just went up too. I'm in the cardio zone just thinking about it. It was like nuts. Anyway, it was, it was lots of fun. It was a good time to watch. All right. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I said before, <laughs> here's Rick with Don't Be Dumb. All right, cool. Hey, Rick. <laughs> Hello for the second time. Mm-hmm. So I got this one from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, what, were they blocking Sarah down here? What did she have to say? Men are either hungry or horny. Oh, mm. pull that one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sarah's on a roll right now. <laughs> No lie. <laughs> and this article is because of Sarah June. She threw this out there. Tell Haley Bieber's it. sister arrested and accused of throwing a used tampon at Savannah nightclub bartender. See, either men are hungry or horny. <laughs> if she doesn't have a boner, make him a sandwich. This girl here, right? She knows. She knows. <laughs> wow. All right. I so did you hear about? Well, no. I got to hear the see words this on when this. Sarah sent this. No. What do you got to hear the words on? Okay, yes, the lady. <laughs> what is it? Alilia? Al- Al- Alilia? What the fuck, man? Give them regular names, man. <laughs> it's Haley Bieber's fucking sister. One of the uh, Baldwin crazy ones. Acting like her what, dad. She it's goes, throwing she goes by that pods. anyway. Whatever her name is, she goes by <laughs> her sister. <laughs> <laughs> How nasty are you, Cochina? Throwing used tampons, man. When police spoke with the bartender, she said she was asked to assist a woman out of the employee bathroom. When she entered, she told police the woman said she needed to change her tampon, so she gave her a few minutes. When she entered the bathroom again, the alleged woman removed her tampon and threw it at her, according to the report. This is when security stepped in and had to remove her from the business. When the officer spoke to one of the bouncers, he said that he was attempting to remove the woman who had thrown up in the bathroom when she allegedly grabbed a handful of his hair and pulled it out. Police then talked with another bouncer who said he'd been hit in the genitals by the same woman. She's just fucking kung fu fighting everybody. <laughs> he said she had the female in a bear hug trying to get the woman out of the bathroom before the manager told her to let go. When he did, the w- woman allegedly hit him between the legs. The bar was able to provide the accused name of Alila Arano, the eldest daughter of Stephen Baldwin. Uh, based on her bar tab, according to the report, in addition, police said security video supported the employee's testimony. Oh, they got it all on video. I didn't mm. see the tape. God damn it. Oh, shit. That's got to be a good tape. While still at the club, a caller wanted to speak with police about the events that unfolded. The caller gave an address for police to meet her. When officers arrived, they discovered that the person on the phone was R A R O N O W. R N now? The police said R N now calmed. Claimed she was forcefully removed from the club and originally denied forcing her way into the bathroom and throwing her tent. So she lied. She just said, I didn't do nothing. Dude. <laughs> For when um, challenged and confronted by police, the police said they uh, eventually she admitted to it. I'm with, I'm with Angela. I, I don't see where she's broken the law as of yet. I mean, you know, 
Yeah, that's well. like biohazard. What are you talking about? <laughs> Antelope Cochina. You can't just be throwing your bloody tampons at people. Ugh, that's nasty. Fuck that. And okay, also, hold on. She... I didn't even get to the last sentence. It says, when arrested oh. and charged with simple assault, simple battery. <laughs> Fuck you, simple. That's nasty. That is way more than simple. You fucking pulled it out and you ah, nah, that ain't nothing simple about that. That's crazy, oh. overcomplicated, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. But you know, you know what I heard though, is that she is actually going to fight the winner of the Jake Paul. Bring back but celebrity I, it, death match, whatever death match or whatever it was, the claymations. But it also said she fucking pulled out somebody's hair, right? She grabbed some guy's hair and pulled. I mean, that's she got to be fucking bloody tampons, like they were boomerangs, and then she went ahead and pulled out some dude's hair, whoa, scalped that motherfucker that with the bare hand, for sure, and then really? blah, kicked the other dude in the nuts. Got a question? Got a question? Uh oh. What, what about, about a band aid? Come yeah, on, what about I mean, a if, what is band-aid? It's from a bullet wound. <laughs> Bloody band-aid. If you pull it out of your coochie, Angela, what's wrong with you? Can't be throwing coochie juice at people. I don't care if it's red, white, blue, whatever band-aids. No, Dude. no. You can't throw them either. Oh, hello. No, hello. do not be throwing band-aids at people. Hello, oh, oh, who flung the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What up, bros? Hey, Welcome Rose. to the conversation. Hey, <laughs> uh, no, nah, oh, fuck man. no, Sarah. I'll, I'll punch a girl. I'll tell you right now. I will fucking sock a lady if she hits Wait. me with the goddamn bloody tampon. I will bring back old school beatings. We will beat the shit out of her. I don't care. I, I, me and homies will jump her. I kind of can't imagine you know, getting hit with a tampon. I'm not really disgusted. What is uh, it? man you know people we can't people even pay talk money to you in anymore. vegas to have that happen you know it's like an extra nah. 80 bucks <laughs> exactly nah, right your, you, you, you gotta pay extra yourself. to get a tampon toss at you in vegas you're so right yeah <laughs> yeah see no coochie juice exactly <laughs> coochie juice disgusting might have a little uh, std in there you know what's going on with all that nah man uh, nah dude. nah okay, man I, that's blood there are, uh, there are, vaginal blood. There are people paying extra for coochie uh, juice. Uh, that sounds right like right a now. song title. I'm just telling you right now. Cochina, <laughs> nasty bitch. <laughs> 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 All right. How y'all feel about storing chocolate? Um, Like where, where you put it when you... Yeah, do you guys like to put it in the fridge? Do you guys like no, to keep it out in the I'm not, I'm counter? Not a, with... I'm not a cold chocolate person. No, not in no, any way. Why not? It. I don't. I don't like the hardness of cold chocolate. And it, if you have to let it sit in your mouth to like get unfrozen, that's too long for me to wait to eat chocolate. So I'm. I'm a big fan of pick it up, <laughs> pick it up, Gotta unroll go now. it. Now I need an instant crack. But pick it up. <laughs> Fuck! As soon as I, it touches, uh, I need to feel it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I like to store mine in an orifice. Yes, he does it. Like, mm. Oh, oh, your yeah. keystring, the chocolates. You like the Easter Bunny? <laughs> what do we do? The Keister Bunny in here? We got John the Keister Bunny. <laughs> I was just trying to do some sort of weird callback to that other story. <laughs> But yeah, the Keister Bunny is hysterical, man. <laughs> I love that. Somebody, somebody has to have done that. Man. We, we, have to, we have to do a Keister Bunny video. We should, yeah, do a, we should do a Keister Bunny bit. We yeah, should write sure, one. Man. Yeah, I'm going to it. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> because Easter's coming up. I think it's the end of March this God, year. That's funny. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's it's Easter. That's why I thought of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan. I, and I, yes, thank you, Angela. Thank you. I'm not a big fan of cold chocolate. Did it anyway? Maybe I went too far with my answer, but that's my answer. What is the what's the right thing? <clears throat> so if you put it in the fridge, it loses its flavors. Yeah. Ah. It says the cocoa butter absorb flavors and odors, meaning if you keep it in your fridge, it'll absorb other flavors also. So you get a little salmon in your, your oh. you know, your oh. chocolate. Yeah. And so even it, if it's all it's wrapped there, up and everything, it still does it, huh? <clears throat> Yeah, even if you have it in your culo and you pop it in the fridge, <laughs> <laughs> <Keister> buddy. Uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do right after this. I'm putting my ass, I'm putting my ass in the fridge for a while. <laughs> 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 it's gonna smell a little fishy. <laughs> I'll take the other stuff out for a bit. <laughs> Mommy, it's the Keister Bunny. <laughs> yeah, here Is comes an egg. An egg. <laughs> hey, y'all, do it in unison. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Mommy, okay. all the eggs are brown. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, on that note, happy Easter, buddy. This, yeah. this, this egg's not hard boiled. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, I oh. gotta get. I gotta stop. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay. Uh, so, so the other, right, only other thing it says, if yeah, if chocolate is stored in the fridge and taken out when it's time to enjoy the condensation on the surface, can dissolve the sugar, causing it to crystallize, with neg- which negatively impacts the overall texture of the chocolate. Making it grainy, also. Oh, so whoever likes their shit in the fridge, you think it lasts longer. This is what they're saying about it: lose a little flavor, get a little graininess because the sugar dissolving. But enjoy your chocolate, and don't keep your, don't tampons, keep your tampons in the fridge. Oh, Angela, <laughs> <Cochina>. <laughs> Ugh, man, hey, dirty girls, dirty that, girls. That might be a way to pick up the 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 juice flavor. What? what? Without no, actually... no coo- coochie flavors coochie in the chocolate. The coochie juice flavor. Yes. Uh, Coochie oh flavored God. chocolate. Oh, you like that, <laughs> <Yeah>. huh? <laughs> I think I did. I think I did. No, that that's for a, a long, in the moment. Time. That's an in the moment treat. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. That is, that is exactly an yeah. in the moment treat. You're yeah, right. I okay. guess you can keep the chocolate bar in the bedroom if you really Go want to. Go grab the try coochie it. bar from the <laughs> fridge. Dude. It's Saturday night. <laughs> it's <Man>. coochie time. <laughs> Hey, you want? Hey, let me let, let me change your sex lives here. Um, um, get yourself some Altoids. Put them in your toy chest. You'll thank me. You're gonna make the pussy explode. Oh my god! Oh my god! God, you mix it with some Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah. You got an atom bomb. You gonna be? Yeah, you gonna be the next Oppenheimer? You the Oppenheimer of pussy up in here? What are you doing? Uh, just saying. <laughs> yeah, you mix it with Coke and you got a real squirter on your hand. <laughs> God. There it is. Right. There right. it is. For the <laughs> win. That was good. That was good. This is a pretty good right. episode. But, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Guess who went to jail? These uh, nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. 42 year old man was arrested after allegedly incident with a gun on the east side of Green Bay. This man, shit you not, is D's nuts. Kroll. So a Wisconsin-based man with a peculiar name found himself in custody, according to NBC. 42-year-old D's Nuts Kroll was arrested on Tuesday night following an alleged incident with a gun on the east side of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Per the news outlet, the criminal complaint reportedly said that an altercation started with an argument over the phone between Kroll and two unidentified people early in the evening. Two people allegedly showed up at his residence and found that at the door to these Nuts place was locked until he opened it and punched them with a closed fist in the shoulder. So he opened and he's like, these nuts. Bah. <laughs> so when the officers arrived on the scene, two people were brought to the squad car and placed in the back. These nuts was also brought into custody. <laughs> this is fucking retarded. Appearing <laughs> intoxicated to police. So these nuts was loaded and then was standing outside shirtless at the time. Authorities also seized a, seized a loaded CO2 BB gun allegedly belonged to these nuts when <laughs> interviewed by authorities. <clears throat> these nuts was allegedly talking in circles. These nuts was talking in circles. <laughs> These nuts yeah. faces oh. charges including battery and disorderly conduct with a dangerous weapon. <laughs> Jesus. Battery carries a potential, not a simple battery. No, these nuts gets a dangerous <laughs> weapon and battery. Battery, you can throw a bloody tampon from the, the fucking vagina, but as soon as these nuts <laughs> comes out, starts punching people, it ain't no simple <sighs> batteries and no more. Huh? See, okay. yeah, women won't be treated the same, but when it comes to the dick and the pussy, oh, it's huh? two different levels of punishment, isn't there? How is it that people show up at D's Nuts house and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, D's Nuts would have to tell him where D's Nuts is, right? I mean, you know. All day. I mean, and otherwise so, they was they were stalking uh, these nuts. Come- <laughs> 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 but, 
So he probably said, you want some of these nuts? Come get some of these nuts. You know where these nuts are. <laughs> he said, you come for these nuts? You get shot. <laughs> but it sounds like he just punched the guy in the shoulder, right? Was it, it must have been yeah. more than that. Dude. I mean, that's all. That was the whole report right there. It says he punched him in the shoulder. Oh, my God. Uh, punched him with a closed fist in the shoulder. You did have to be there. That's it. You could. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, that's all. He had a BB gun. So with a BB yeah. gun, they're giving him a dangerous weapon. Battery carries a potential sentence to, to nine months in prison, Prison, which is wow. disorderly conduct charge and can result in a 90 days of imprisonment with the possibility of an additional six months due to the weapon involved. Dude. These nuts <laughs> has been released on a thousand dollar signature bond. Can, can you imagine going to prison and your name is These Nuts? <laughs> All day, yeah. All day, no, you ain't man. getting fucked with because they'll be laughing. They'll be, there's no, you ain't, I'm, I've told, I've said it once. I'll say it again, man. They can't poke you if you keep them giggling. Oh, uh, you can't fucking rape nobody while you giggling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just keep them laughing. Yeah. Stop them from poking. <laughs> I would be. If they're like, he's like, hey man, what's your name? I would be like, these nuts. That's how I'd say it would come. These nuts. Take good luck, shit. 10458. These nuts. I would say, my name My name is Tom. Yeah. But these nuts. That's crazy. I'm sure a lot of people would come up to him and go, "You want to check out these nuts?" Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, look at this motherfucker. He looked like his name be these nuts. Dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, and wait, wait, wait. What is today, people? Today oh. is. Uh, what? Anytime you're ready, there, moderator. Oh. What is that? Oh, 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 oh. Uh. This right here is an AI generated photo. <clears throat> So I today is National Calendar Day. You know, I like to find out what day it is. And today is Worship of Tools Day. National Worship of Tools Day. Oh, March 11th is National Worship of Tools Day. This is a day to go out in your garage, tool shed, tools closet, or wherever you keep your tools. You can clean them, reorganize them, make something new, or maybe even go on store, go out to the store and buy a new one. So I asked Chat G. I didn't even ask Chat GPT if I'm, I have a. Uh, windows the bing or whatever it is uh -huh. and if you click on the symbol rather in the search bar if you click uh -huh. on the symbol it takes you to the ai right and then i asked the ai i said make me a photo of somebody worshiping their tools and this is one of the photos that it gave me get a big it. screen throw it up there for people. that's actually pretty cool i think it is pretty cool i like it a lot i thought so too it does pretty good they say you'll see uh uh problems with people's hands so, like, oh, the yeah. AI doesn't get the hands very well. But I don't know. I thought this one was pretty spot on. But you can't do dirty stuff with it, can you? Well, these nuts can. I don't know. I haven't asked him. <laughs> oh, yeah, John, you might be able to take your shit to the next level with AI. <laughs> Give me a silhouette of a... Oh, you might be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll try it. <clears throat> I'm a, my, I have tools are my my whole life. Like Without tools, I wouldn't be able to do shit. The right tool for the right job makes every job easy. So if you got tools, try to take care of them. I know it's hard. I got a ton of freaking tools, man. Just keeping them out of the rain and everything is a chore in itself because I've been out of that truck all the time. But right That's there, right. today is National oh. Worship Your Tools Day. Did we do the ending? Let's see here. There we are. That was it. Yeah, there was no closeout. You don't have a card. And then it's this That's bitch right. again. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like tampon hey, flinging little. Don't cunt. be dumb. There you go. Uh, you don't much. be dumb. Don't be flinging, flinging tampons, Angela. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> All righty. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, our sponsor, first one, uh, Maria Naven Lassiter with Great Rare Real Estate. Uh, give her a call if you're in the business. Uh, you know, in Colorado, you're looking for a buy a home sell a home, just need some information, wondering what your home would sell for. Is this a good time? Interest rates are down in the sixes now. People are starting to get into the um, into the market and, and going up from fours and going, yes, I'll, I'll pay that extra little bit there for the extra two bedrooms. So things like that are happening. If you're interested, give her a call. 720-401-1889. Right there. It's 720-401-1889. And just to be safe, you should write this down uh, on a paper or, you know, maybe a piece of cardboard that happens to be there 
Anyway, the number again is 720-401-1889. Beautiful. And our other sponsor right there is... From the window to the wall. I should have took a drink before I did that. Three yeah, O's. that's right, right there for all your handyman needs. If you want to Google me, it's window with three O's. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can look up my website, you put a dot com next to it, or you can put Rick at and then a dot com at the end, and you get my uh, email address direct, or you can give me a call right there at 720 428 0885. 720 428-0885. And you could write that right under Maria's number, and you'll have them both on the paper. Put them oh, hand yeah. in hand. Perfect. I'm fixing their property. Yeah. They they buy them, sell them, and I mean, whatever needs to be done in the future, I got you. And yeah. There you go. Uh, hey, uh, what do we... Well, first of all, Rick, you got some uh, mail coming. I think you will enjoy. There you go. Oh, you better not. <laughs> wow. Don't be dumb. I got some stickers at your way. I will wipe my ass with them before I send them if you want. <laughs> Man. I was like, what the fuck do you mean I got mail coming my way? I didn't even see that down there. <laughs> Have fun with that one. Oh, John, what are, you, son of a bitch. what are you doing this week, John? I, I'm actually doing a benefit um, on the 16th, Saturday, at Arvada High School, if you can believe that. But really it's a benefit nice. for the high huh? school, yeah. Okay. And it's in the high nice. school auditorium. That's cool. I like doing stuff like that. I mean, the benefit part's cool, but I mean, just being on different stages in comedy clubs is really right. fun, you know? Yep. For sure, for sure. Right on. So, all right, that'll be cool. Arvada High School, can tickets are still yep. available or, or are they just high Yeah, school? you can check my Facebook page. Beautiful. I've got it posted on there. All right, cool. And um, Rick, um, uh, aside from the tampons you'll be in enjoying, aside from the biohazard that'll be coming in the mail, uh, what are you doing this week? <laughs> I'm going to be at the Denver Improv on Friday for Roast Battle at uh, 10 o'clock. And then on the 16th, I'm doing a private gig in Wiggins, Colorado. So, Roast wow. Battle, explain. Roast Battle is basically you just insult the guy on stage. You, Am I right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you look like, you know. Yeah, okay, cool. I, yeah, you look like you just stepped off the set of the Cosby Show, you know, shit like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. That reminds me of the little, your mom is so big when she sits around the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She it's just sits insults. around the house. <laughs> she sits all around the house. Oh, dude! Yeah. I heard a guy today. He was talking to another person. Uh, he's talking to uh, another girl. He was talking to a girl, and um, she said to him, "He said you." She said, "So you've never been married?" And he said, "No, I had a wife once, but her husband found out." I laughed my ass I'm off. I, had, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed my ass off. Yeah, I couldn't hold it in. Like they looked at me like you're laughing at our joke. Anyway, all right. So, so that do you was know it. who Tyree Dillard is? No, who is Tyree yeah, Dillard? Yeah, I do. Okay, he works at the. He worked at the Improv for a while. Uh, he's uh, he has no legs. Uh, oh yes. He, okay. Sometimes. Why didn't okay. you? Why didn't you? Why didn't you just say the guy with no legs? Because I was trying to be cool, man. Okay. <laughs> so I'm roasting him. On oh Friday. man. That's who I'm roasting. And one of my ones that I got in my pocket is I'm gonna give it out here because ain't nobody watching this shit. Is you know Black Lives <laughs> Matter. No, no, no. BLM. I'm a I'm a supporter. Oh. Yeah, Black Legs Matter. That's what I meant to say. Oh, and I'm a supporter oh, of the BLM. Black Legs Matter. I fucked it up from the beginning. See, that's no good. God damn it. Well, <laughs> I'm glad I said it out out loud once. Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> you can workshop it. You know. Uh, I thought it was funny, man. Black legs matter. Yeah, that's funny. I, like I, like <clears throat> I, I was supposed to. I was supposed to battle him last month or in February, and I was like, what? Oh, "How are you going to set that up? How Black are you going to set that month? up?" I don't know. You just got to um, go at it when you're up there. Okay. All right. Cool. Angela. Yeah. <laughs> Angela and Sarah. <laughs> hey. We'll see y'all next week. This was we fun. Thanks, it. guys. Bye. Like, subscribe. Thanks, share. Subscribe. Let's go. Do all that. See you Let's next Monday. Six people. Bye. Thanks Bye. for showing up. Love you lots. Algorithm. Uh huh.